this is my wife's 2014 Subaru Forester. A few days ago, she got a dead battery. I uh, had to get a jump. And then when she got it going again, she found that her radio wouldn't work. It comes up with this error message. There it is. Please check audio system. And uh, the radio is not working. I can still scroll through all the screens. It scrolls back around until it reaches the error message. Uh, the only experience I have with this previously is I have a 2006 Honda Civic and uh, the first time I needed to change the battery in that car, uh, the same thing happened. The radio was disabled as an anti-theft measurement and uh, I called up the dealership. They looked up my information and uh, read a, a code to me that I just typed in and got the radio working no problem. And I figured it would be the same thing with this, but when I went to, I called the dealership and they uh, needed, said I need to bring it in so they can take a look and uh, they didn't really have any didn't know what I was talking about, said they would need to charge me a $118 diagnostic fee. I said, no, thank you. I'll figure something else out. And uh, I went online and uh, found some Subaru forums. I probably should have just went online in the first place. Uh, but I, I found one that uh, suggested to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery and reconnect it. And it should work fine. Several people chimed in and said, yes, it worked for me as well. So I figured I would uh, pull out my camera and, and try this technique on camera. So I will just... Uh, set up the camera outside, pop the hood, and see what happens. Leave that disconnected for a few seconds. All right, now let's go see what happens when we restart the car. Ah, no error message. Where's the regular radio? Is it that one? Let's see. Ah, the radio is still not coming on. Let's see. The error message is not coming on anymore. But the radio is still not working. What the heck? Dude, this is super disappointing. I thought I had a quick, easy fix. This, this radio head unit might be fried. Arrgh. So I called up this shop that I've worked with in the past, went through all the various scenarios, and it's looking like uh, my radio might be fried in my wife's car. We uh, might have to get a new one, but they gave me one last ditch thing I can try. And uh, so uh, I, I'm going to, let's see, uh, disconnect the, the battery with the positive and the negative terminals. Uh, come up and step on the gas and hit the horn to discharge anything and then touch the positive and the negative cables together. Hold them together for 10 seconds. Reattach everything, start it up and see what happens. Uh, but now I want to uh, say that I'm not uh, suggesting anyone try to do this. I do not want to be responsible for anyone uh, wrecking their uh, their electrical system in their car. But uh, it's I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I trust the people that told me this. and. Uh, and I will record uh, <laughs> what happens. All right, so I'm going to disconnect the battery. Guys, aside. Step on the brake. Get the horn. No sound. The next step is to hold the two terminals together for 10 seconds. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> it's back! See, the presets are, I don't know what my wife's presets were, but those seem to be intact too. And her CD this has been stuck in there for about a week. <laughs> Brilliant. I can't believe it worked.